if you wasn't right with the Lord, I hope you went home and you stomach cake and went home and ate some tacos and stuff. And the stomach started hurting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I lay in I lay her, her recliner there and I said, oh, man, I felt it coming on. And I, I realized, oh, I thought me and you were straight. <laughs> Soon passed. I said, I was sure hoping I was going to make church tonight. I was sure with the path of the preacher had been home. I told Gary to tell him anything but a stomach ache. I heard I could or anything. So I praise the Lord that my stomach quit hurting in time for me to be in church. So, Romans chapter 5 tonight. Last, uh, last uh, Sunday sermon. You're going to hear from. Uh, the month of February, uh, the month of breaking out in love, and I hope, good goodness, you took uh, took your time and, and told the people of Pine Level that you love them, and uh, I hope you've tried to do something special. Um, I, you're not going to get another chance. Just, it, you know, not to do it in February, not to do it when the Lord laid it on my heart. So, you know, I, I hope you took an action and done it, and, and uh, next month will be the month of fellowship and we're going to look at uh, what fellowship means and what it brings. Mean and bring. Amen. And uh, we're going to look at that very deeply and uh, then we're going to move on to tithe and giving. We've got so much going on and I told, I told my mama she might want, not want to come and the month of May is going to be gospel. Uh, she said, I'm not no gossiper. And then we sit down to eat and they went talking about people and I said, there again, Mom. Y'all might not all come. Maybe. <laughs> uh, got in trouble with my mom. Maybe. Uh, Romans chapter 5, beginning in verse 1. And I fell in love with these six verses. I had such a good time studying them. And I had such a good time praying in them and being in them. And I hope you have just as good of time tonight as I did. Beginning in verse 1, therefore being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, by whom also we have access by faith into this grace, wherein we stand, rejoice, and hope of the glory of God. Not only so, but we glory in tribulations also, knowing that tribulations worketh patience. Angela just spoke of patience. Patience in, in this publication that they've been trying to put together. And she said they've had this great opportunity to grow in patience. And he says, uh, knowing that tribulation worketh patience, and patience experience, and experience comes hope. Verse 5 says, And hope maketh not and hope maketh not ashamed, because the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost which is given unto us. For when we were yet without strength, in due time, Christ died for the ungodly. Dear Father, Lord, we thank You for 2,000 years ago. We thank You for the cross of Calvary. Lord, we praise You tonight for all that You do and all that You are. And Lord, we know tonight that there's going to be many things to come, many glorious things. Lord, that because of Your blood and uh, and forgiveness of our sins, we're going to be a part of, Lord, that we've been invited to, Lord, that we have now access to, Lord, because of the belief we have in You, that salvation that You have given us, and Lord, we praise You tonight. We have no idea how glorious it's going to be. There's no words in our in our language, Lord, that describes the things that are going to come to pass, Lord, when You return. And Lord, we just tonight, we want to take it. We want to be closer to You in our relationship that we now have with You. Lord, I pray that this message will help us do that. Will help us to see some things that we have, some things that we have that we may not even be using, Lord. Things that we have that, uh, Lord, we need to just stop and see and stop and praise for You, even as we speak tonight. Lord, I pray that... Lord, I just pray that old Patrick Salter stays out of the way. I pray he stays out of the way and you let, you let, uh, uh, or I let you just work through me tonight. And Lord, this be the ministry of high love. It doesn't be anything about me. This, these things I ask you in the sweetest name. There's something about that name. In the 
name of Jesus Christ we pray. Amen. 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 <clears throat> when you first get saved, we've taught and we know that you're going to grow. That's just plain out. Amen. If you're staying. And you know, I, I know people that's got saved and didn't stay in church. I know that. And I know they're still saved. I, I believe. I, I, I've been in, in the room with them and I've been in the, in the days after and I truly believe that they got saved. But you know, the, the world, just like I talked with you this morning, <clears throat> Satan draw, drew them away. I mean, we can be drawn away even though we're saved. It just depends on our focus and where our focus is. And, and my daddy has always told me that I need to be prayed up. I mean, I need to be prayed up. And that's always taught me that, you know, that no matter how how much I think I know of Christ and, and uh, you know, uh, of the things that, you know, uh, the titles I may have uh, according to the ministry, it just has always told me that even I can fall. And I have fallen. I have fallen as a bishop or a pastor. And, and I, I, but I got back up. And I'm just, I'm ready to serve the Lord. But, you know, I have to stay prayed up. We all do because he is sitting out there waiting for us to sleep. He's waiting. He's waiting for us to to lose that gulf that we have. And as soon as that gulf comes down, then the first thing he wants to do is entice us to draw us away. So I know Christians that have been saved and and, and didn't uh, ever get into the growth process. But this right here, God talks about the growth process. So, of what he, he expects and what's going to happen. And he, and he shares that with us in, in verse 5. But I want to just, just start off by going all the way back to verse 1 and just let you look. He says, we have peace with God. And that's a great thing to have because God, uh, not only because of His wrath, and His wrath is so severe, but also because God is such a wonderful God. So to have peace with Him. But once again, verse 1 tells us there's only one way to have peace with Him. And that's through Jesus Christ. You see that? I mean, if you just don't get to God and you don't, you, don't, you don't get peace with God unless you go through the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. I don't know if any other doctor tells you anything else they cannot hold this Bible in their hand. There is no other way to God except through the Son. You can't even get peace unless you go through the Son. That's free. Nothing to do with the sermon. You start, and he looks in there, and he says, verse 2, he says, Because of this belief, I have access to this grace. Oh, this wonderful grace people are talking about. It's amazing grace we sing about. And I have access to it because of the belief that I have in the Son. Oh, it doesn't get any better than that. Well, yeah, it does. Let's listen. It says, where we stand, rejoice in hope. And we, a lot of times we take and we use the word hope is Man, maybe this happened type sentence or form. That's not what hope means here. Hope is the expectation, man. Man, I can't wait till that happens. Oh, it's going to be so good. I expect it to happen. Man, I believe this is going to be. That's what hope means. Hope is the expectation of something good. And I hope. God comes back soon. That means I expect something good. <clears throat> and that good is Him coming back. Amen. Soon. I already know He's coming back. Soon. Amen. Amen. So He says that we have access to faith and, and that faith gives us grace and that grace that gives us a hope. Now we keep going on down as we begin to grow we grow out of just belief. And it says, and not only so in verse 3, but we have glory and tribulation also. Now, the only way to go through tribulation is to grow or to take time. From the first of being saved to go through tribulation, you have to have a process. 